Hey guys, welcome to the Solution Architect channel. And in part two, there is a part one of MVC where you create a web application without identity. This one will, I will show you how to create a MVC application with identity. In part one, I explain what MVC means. So if you, if you want to know what MVC means, goes to part one. Um, the ASP.NET entity uh, gives you a token-based uh, authentication. It also has your password using this uh, algorithm. And it gives you also support for two-factor authentication. So, for example, login and email address. Or it also gives you um, authorization for role-based or policy-based security. So if you want to use either, or you can use both of them to, together in one. And I'll show you that in a later video. Okay, so open Visual Studio Code. Um, what I suggest you do is, if you just create an MVC app and you just want to add the scaffold identity later, um, there is some complexity doing that. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. So if you want to create a new project, I just deleted the one I had. And I'm just going to give you the Uh, so output is uh, is in this folder, so I'm not going to create it somewhere else. Um, you want to add auth auth authentication in the visual. I spell this correctly, and this will add the uh, authentication for you automatically. It's as simple as that. So what you can see here, if you go to your CS project file, you'll see that it added um, connection to SQLite for you automatically. Um, and seek, I'll, I'll explain SQLite a, in a moment. So I just want to first, what I want to do is run this program. Okay, then now let's run the application. Go to your debug page. There's no configuration added. You want to add .NET Core and then start your debugging. Okay, so here's your application. Register and login automatically added. So let's test the registration. I'm just gonna put in Joe Block my password to me and this needs to match otherwise it will give you an error I'm just going to show you so and that will register your Joe block if you click on Joe block here so out of the box when you add um, authentication it will give you you can either change your email address add your phone number you can change your password. Um, I don't think two-factor authentication will work out of the box. Uh, it'll probably give me an error. Oh, you can add it. Okay, not too bad. And then personal data that you can download. And this is without doing any coding. Um, I know you want to get stuck to coding, but but uh, adding authentication and login is very important to your application. So thanks for watching part two. Um, the next part, I will add some, some data models and we'll add a database and we'll also um, create controllers and views. And thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. There is much more to come and uh, click the notification button. And if you like my videos, say like. If you don't, don't say like. Just say like. Thank you. See you next time.